tonight, breaking news as we come on the air in the West. Former President Trump indicted tonight four counts, the most serious charges yet against the former president. And in New York City, the suspected serial killer in court and what the wife is now saying. World News Tonight starts now. From ABC News World Headquarters in New York, this is World News Tonight with David Muir. Good evening, and it's great to have you with us here on a Tuesday night. Many of you have been with us all along, and we do begin with this major development in the special counsel's investigation of former President Donald Trump. A federal grand jury has now criminally indicted the former president out of the special counsel's investigation into his efforts to overturn the 2020 election. The 45-page indictment begins by saying the former president lost the 2020 election, knew he lost, and then for months spread lies that there had been outcome determinative fraud in the election and that he had actually won it. The indictment charges Trump with four counts, conspiracy to defraud the U.S., conspiracy to obstruct an official proceeding, obstruction, an, an attempt to obstruct an official proceeding, and conspiracy against rights. The indictment laying out a detailed timeline and state-by-state -state efforts to appoint illegal electors and influence local officials to change the outcome in their states. And it also lists six unnamed co-conspirators. The indictment alleges Trump attempted to enlist Vice President Mike Pence to obstruct the certification of the election results and that the violent attack on the Capitol on January 6th was fueled by lies. And as you heard Jack Smith say right here moments ago, lies by the defendant. Special Counsel Jack Smith making that rare appearance before the cameras calling the attack on our nation's capital on January 6th an unprecedented assault on the seat of American democracy. The former president has been asked to appear in federal court Thursday at 4 p.m. to be arraigned on these charges. Our team standing by, including our reporter who just talked with the former president, his reaction here in a moment. But we begin with our chief justice correspondent, Pierre Thomas, tonight. Tonight, Donald Trump, former president of the United States, 